Claudia has trouble walking past an enticing boutique. But trying on the clothes can be time consuming. Wouldn't it be great if it could be done differently? One thing that could spare her that trip to the changing room is an innovation developed at the Fraunhofer Institute for Telecommunications in Berlin. When Anna Hilsman tries on this t-shirt, she's furthering science. Hilsman is a computer scientist who's developed a virtual mirror. It turns her green shirt into a blue one with a different logo at the touch of a finger without her really having to change clothes. The shirt has to be green so the camera and computer recognize the surface that has to change color. The challenge is to make the virtual t-shirt move like real material along with its wearer. That's achieved with a sophisticated bit of software that computes the projection within milliseconds. But a few improvements are still needed. There are research approaches and methods that try to simulate certain characteristics of fabrics, so that genes act differently from silk, for instance. That's not in our system yet, but in future that would be the virtual mirror. When you stand in front of it, it recognizes the body position and then renders a cloth model based completely on computer graphics, so you can see how you'd look in different articles of clothing. <laughs> Whether fashions or accessories, shopping should be fun. Researchers working with Paul Hoyetsky at the Fraunhofer Institute have designed a solution. This interactive shop window invites passers-by to explore and admire its wares round the clock. It enables potential buyers to view the products from all sides without even entering the shop. Or you can try out different colors without even touching the window pane. Behind the playful facade is a lot of sophisticated technology. Recognition through the window pane was one challenge we had to overcome. That's because the glass pane reflects. And we use infrared cameras. And you know how if you take a photograph through a window, there can be reflections. And they make the picture look completely different. And that's the problem we had to overcome. The researchers based their solution on a program that recognizes gestures. Infrared cameras record the hands and the software calculates the position in real time. The program does that quickly and accurately. But isn't it tiring to have to keep moving your arm to see all the things for sale? I don't assume any passerby would really stand there for 15 minutes. People or potential customers stop and look at what's in the window and try it out. And then they go on to buy, either directly from the window or by going into the shop. It's really meant for just a short period of interaction. After many trips to the changing room, Claudia has made up her mind. Perhaps in the future she'd test the clothes virtually first, but the best part of shopping is still taking your new purchases home with you.